We must pray for you concerning marriage. You, you hear me? Yes, must daddy. concern marriage. Yes, because there's a spirit that put a ring in your finger. Yes, daddy. When you, are, you dream, you saw a spirit. Yes, daddy. Eh? Yes, daddy. Putting a ring on your finger. Yes, daddy. And it, it always frightens you. Your relationship doesn't work. Yes. Eh? Yes. I set you free. Come on! Out, oh, you demon! In the name of Jesus Christ. Leave her, she's free. My name is Nam Kabelo. I come from Heitlipek. Uh, Daddy said uh, I had a dream where somebody was giving me a marriage ring, so I have a spirit husband. And I want to confirm that the prophecy is true because it happened sometime last year. Somebody came and gave me a wedding ring, and after that, my life was different. I started having bad dreams. Somebody would come and press me at night. Uh, I started having problems at work and in my relationships. All of my relationships were not working out. I was always angry. I was fighting people, mostly men. I did not like them that much. They would make me angry easily. I would advise anybody to trust God and knowing that God's time is the best. You are worrying about children. Huh? Yes. Children. You are worrying about children. Concerning the issue of schooling. Yes. Is it true what I'm saying? Yes. Eh? Yes. But always you and your wife, you are sick. Even now. Can you see? This is an attack. You are getting freedom now. In Amen. Jesus' name. Are you crying? Yes, I'm crying. You are, you are not me. happy. I'm not the, happy at all. In the Please. relationship. Yes. Eh? Yes. So you are worrying about relationship. Yes. Issue. Can you go to him? I'll speak with you with him. Okay. That brother and his wife, there's a serious problem. Yes, they do. This is a serious problem, my brother. That you people, you fight over anything. Yeah, that's true, daddy. Eh? That's true. You were, now, this week you were fighting over money. Yes, that's it true. It was money issue. Eh? Yeah. Yes. yeah, that's true. Sometimes you fight like you don't respect each other. Brother say, Sister does not respect. That's true, Didi. Huh? That is hundred percent true. You normally quarrel a lot. Yes. And yourself, you you feel like it's better you separate. Yeah. Sometimes these things you, is you, not you working to, for you us. You want to get out from the relationship. Yeah. So God loves you. You need to stay in the relationship. Amen. But I'm not seeing uh, Lobola. No, I've paid Lobola. You pay Lobola. Yes. You want to do wedding? Yes. I've done engagement, and then I want to do wedding also. Oh, that's why you say you want to marry? Yes. So, but you are staying with her? Yeah, we're staying together, yeah. All right. I will pray for you for marriage. Amen. Just lift up your hands. Don't leave her. Don't leave her. There was a brother who left you the same way, my sister. You remember? Yes. There's a brother who left you the same way. Huh? There was a way the brother wanted to leave you. You remember? You were having a brother before who wanted to marry you. Yes. Huh? Yes. But he left you in a, in a very shocking way. The same way. So it won't happen to this one. Amen. You will stay together in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Come on! Take it! Thank you, brother. Receive it. Receive this anointing to marry in Jesus' name. You will marry in Jesus' name. You will marry in Jesus' name. You will marry in Jesus' mighty name. You are blessed. My name is Simon Makarenge. I'm, staying, I'm from Guiani, but I'm currently staying at Ibone Park. The person next to me is my wife, Diana Magaring, also. Yes, the prophecy we receive uh, is true because me and my wife, uh, we always have a quarrel. We're always fighting in the house, um, especially when it comes to money issues also. We are fighting day and night because of that. So it comes to a point that uh, sometimes we feel like uh, this marriage is not working for us and then uh, we have to separate away. Uh, these things have been happening for a while. I believe it's from... It can be uh, two, three years back, we have been fighting uh, regarding uh, different issues. 
Yeah. Um, the prophecy was true. Uh, we have been fighting. That's why some way, somehow I cried to God and prayed to God that I want to come out of this marriage because it's been long and the problem is like it's not going to end. It was not only the issue of the money only, but there are some other things that they didn't, they didn't mention. Yes, uh, you know what, my prayer was they did to speak with me and confirm and direct me because uh, the day I, 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 I met him, I bring him to daddy also. So due to everything that was happening, I wanted daddy to help me as I was already taking the decision that I wanted to go. I'm tired, you know, it's been long. We have been fighting, especially over one thing. And then if this man can do what I want, why must I keep him? Yes. Uh, currently, I'm feeling okay, man, because I've been, even myself, I've been praying for this, that God, if this God, marriage is from God, they must confirm it also, because we have been to daddy, and he speak to us several times regarding our marriage. And then currently, I was just praying that God, if this marriage is from God, God, they must confirm it. And I'm happy today, because they have confirmed it also. Yes, there's a business that God wants to give you because you were looking at your finances. Yes, you yes, were worrying, did. You were worrying about your finances. Now yes, did. everything is collapsing. Yes, did. Is it true? It's true, did. Yeah? I've opened LFM last year. Uh, things are not here too well at the moment. You say what? LFM, did. Can you interpret my mother what he's saying? LFM, LFM. Law firm. It's a business. Law firm. Attenis. Eh? Attenis business. Yes. That yes, business sir. will grow in Jesus' name. Take it. You, Jesus. Take it. Yes, I can confirm uh, in 2015 uh, I bought uh, a franchise, Chisanyam, and I also opened uh, a juice factory which never went well. And then it pleased me under a lot of depth, but uh, it's true. At the moment now, uh, we recently opened uh, a law practice, which is uh, a lawyer's uh, at Ivory Park. This was in uh, Angeliza Atenis. Uh, we do a road accident fund and so a lot of things. If you are watching right now, Charity TV, uh, come and pay a visit. There's a there is God here. There is God. Uh, I'm living. I'm a God's testimony. If I can tell you where I come from, my life before I met Charis, I was drinking, doing a lot of things, and my life was uh, sin minute. There was nothing that was going on in my life. Uh, everyone was calling me to see things like that. But now I'm stable. My life is starting to move. I even paid the law baller. And even now, people who knows me, they don't even believe it's me who did that. They don't believe uh, it's me who's, uh, whose life has changed. Then uh, please pay a visit. Don't listen what other people say is outside there. And even if you can go back to the Bible, they were saying a lot of things about Jesus Christ. And then that was where the healing was. Come to Charis, you'll, you'll, you'll receive your blessing, your breakthrough. In Jesus' name, God bless you. It's your wife. Huh? Yes. This year is a great year eh? for you people, but we must pray for you. Amen. Because you are on and off, always sick. Yes, eh? true. It's, it's true, true, man of God. Uh, on and off. It's true. And this thing is affecting your faith. Yes. You people. It's down, down. Yes. Your, your faith is very down. down. You people, yes. You people, you know, you are called to pray for people, but not... Uh, now I can't now, pray. Huh? We it's can't difficult pray. to pray for people now. Because of what is happening now. Yes. Since she starts to be very sick. Mm -hmm. But God loves you. You are healed. I want to pray for you. Because in your family, you people here, you are, you are failures in terms of marriage is concerned. Yes, man, of course. Eh? Yes, Apostle. You people, you don't marry. Yes. So, you want to marry? Huh? I'm married. But you are failures, you people. Yes, man of God. You married who? Married. That's my wife. 
is your wife. Yes, yes. You, you understand when I say you, these people are failures in terms of marriage? Not really, man of God. It's, it's possible that you people separate. It's possible. It's true, man of God. Eh? It's true. Because of, you know, the character is heavy. Exactly. Eh? Yes, man of because God. Because they are failures. They've got a tax generational curse. Is following him. Please you don't, you don't, us, you don't even God. trust him. It's true, man of God. Eh? Yes, man of God. There are times where you wanted to leave him. Yes, man of eh? God. Yes. One of the problems of your family is money. When money comes to you, you people, you're everything. That, that's the main problem. If we can ask this lady, we'll tell you. Yes, man of God, it's true. The moment if you get money, you, you are nothing. Thank you, man of God. Huh? It's, it's true, man and, of God. And you have been complaining about this thing, that why my husband's like this. Thank uh, you, man of God, it's, it's true. It's like, it's like this man is supposed to, get to be a millionaire, but God just put him down so that he must have this issue of marriage. Yes, man of God, it's true. Because if you can be a millionaire, you are nothing. Thank you, Lord. Please deliver him for yeah? me. Please deliver him for me, man of God. Am I talking the truth? I don't know. You won't know, because now I'm telling you. After this, you people, you will enjoy marriage and you will, be, you will succeed. You are free, you will succeed. But forgive him. I, I will. Yeah? I, I will forgive him because I told him. He even told my friends that his money comes first. He's, he said money comes first. Money comes first. But he said, does he know what I'm telling him? <laughs> My name is Priti Malaza, I'm from Nelspreit. And the one next to me is Patrick Malaza, my husband. The prophecy I received, it's true. Everything that he said about my husband, it's true. And it was, it's exactly what it was in me, but I was scared to show to him and to tell him. He, the man of God prophesied me about not having a wife, struggling. It's true, because it's something that most of the Man of God has been telling me even when I grow up, in, in, my fa in my family, most of my brothers, they battle with their marriages. It was affecting me badly, badly, because I didn't live a peaceful uh, life with my wife. We're always fighting. Ah, great. Honestly, I feel so great and I'm happy that he said exactly how I was feeling. And I was praying to God that he must just deliver us. And we are delivered already. I could feel it. I thank God for the prophecy and I thank God for the deliverance. From now on, God, asking God to be on our side. We are trusting God that he can't reveal this for nothing. We need to be relieved. We need to, be, to live a better life from now on. There's a problem on your right side. Huh? I'm feeling pain since... On the pain is this yes, side. Yes, and even on my on my neck. Come on, you demon! Out! Out! Out, you demon! Come on, you snake! Out, you spirit of snake! You are free. Um, the prophet I received, the prophet told me that I have a, a pain on my left and it's like stroke. And it's true because as I felt this pain since yesterday when we were coming, this, when we were coming to, to, to South Africa. And by the time I was sitting there, I was feeling the pain, it was becoming too much. And I, ne I removed my bras, thinking that maybe it's the bra which is tight. But right now after prayer, I feel very light. I feel that movement on my head is gone now. It's not there anymore. I would like to encourage others that they should trust in the Lord 
and have faith that when, whatever way, way you go to seek your deliverance, you shall get your deliverance. It's something that is dreaming. Sometimes there are things that are working on his head. That brother of the red jersey. There are things here on top of the head. There are things that are moving everywhere. Yes. Eh? It's true, man of God. Things everywhere here. Yes. On top of the head. Here. Yes. I want to pray for you because it's an attack. And you went to the doctor. Doctor told so, you what? High it, blood. Eh? High blood. He said high blood. Yes. He never told you about HIV. No. He said high blood. Yes. I'll pray for you. This thing will go. Just come. Stop there. In Jesus' name. <laughs> it's an attack because this attack doesn't want you to marry. Yes. He doesn't want to marry. You are free. Okay, my name is Sipom Lule, coming from Pretoria. It's about the uh, chronic disease that I have. I, have I, I was having a high blood uh, chronic. It's, it's been a year now, taking medication. Oh, I, I just want to say all those people who don't believe in prophets you must come and experience what we are, deliverance that we are getting here from men of God. It's your wife. I'm not married You're yet. not married. I'm How old are you now? Huh? I'm going to marry next month. Next month? Yes. We need to pray for you, eh? Yes. I brought him for you that. You brought him for that? Yeah, exactly. So you want to get married? Yes. Because he was having a lot of problems, this man. Yes. Uh, somebody disappointed him yes. before. Yes. Huh? Yes. Where do you come from? We are from Jerere. Vendor. Both of the yes. So why you didn't bring the lady? <laughs> because this man is is having fear to marry. Yes. This man. He has been disappointed before, and right now we are right about to. We are just close to marry the lady from Botswana. Now, when we listen to all these news, and we have already sent the cows down there, because they need physical cows, the livestock. So, so how, I how, said how many you send there? Eight. That is the number they want. So now you, you, you are sending the cows, or you are going to send? We, we're huh? we going to buy them that side. And you, you give them there? Yes. Yeah, because uh, transporting there is going to be a problem. So I want to pray for you. You will make it. Amen. And why you want to marry in Botswana? Uh, she's the one I feel comfortable with, and uh, it looks like she's the one for me. You are right. Because you have suffered too much. You don't want problems again. Again, yes. You want a wife that is humble, who understands you. Yes. You, you have suffered too much. Yes. But I want to say congratulations on this one. You, you, you are blessed. Uh, he, was, he was just blaming himself. And it's not the cause of the problem. Yes. Uh, on the issue that has happened in the past. It's not the cause that he need delivery. Uh, you know, the issue is sometimes... We meet wrong people all together. Yes. Yeah. And then uh, you find that they are manipulating us. Yes. <laughs> uh, and thank God now, there will be no charm now. Amen. There will be no charm. Uh, no one will use charm over you. say I was uh, like afraid to get married and uh, the problem was not me it was just because I was being disappointed so many times so they said uh, I can get uh, I can uh, start getting prepared then I will get married in future but uh, it's gonna be next month no, it was like a matter of um, because I was married before and if I get married, I might get disappointed the way I was disappointed. So I was like still holding back to say maybe in other time, but uh, my age also, I'm not a young one, I'm already 55 now. 
I'm going for my 56 years. Oh, I can say uh, everything which happens, it happens for a, a reasons. And uh, you mustn't be afraid because uh, God is there. If you believe in him, it might take some time, but one of the good days you will be happy again, even if you are divorced or you are separated with whoever you were trusting. So what I can say, it's uh, God has his own way to do his own things, but all we can do is pray so that we can get our happiness again. Yes.